Be moved. Matt Bus. Work. School. Independence. Mobility. Job creation. Green energy. Freedom. Smart growth. The greenest way to go in the FM Metro. Welcome to Matt Bus. Matt Bus provides convenient, cost effective city transportation in the metro areas of Fargo, Moorhead, West Fargo, and Dilworth. We are proud to continue the tradition of providing mass transit in the FM area, a tradition that began in 1882. Matt Bus links people to work, school, healthcare, and shopping. We provide vital mobility and independence for some, while saving others the hassle of traffic congestion and parking not to mention the high cost of vehicle fuel and maintenance. Our mission is to be a proactive community partner by providing safe, convenient, environmentally friendly, and reliable transportation for our residents and visitors. MatBus is a fixed route service, meaning that its buses operate on specific routes using set timetables. MatBus is operated jointly by the cities of Fargo and Moorhead. Monday through Friday, MatBus operates from 6.15 a.m. to 11.15 p.m and on Saturday from 7.15 a.m. to 11.15 p.m. Is MatBus a part of your transportation plan? Hopefully after viewing this video, you will go green and ride with us at MatBus. The MatBus fleet consists of over 50 buses, the most common buses range in length from 29 feet to 40 feet and may accommodate up to 85 people. We feature hybrid electric buses in the fleet, furthering our environmental commitment to the community. Our vehicles are clean, climate controlled and a great alternative to the stress of driving. Our fleet is equipped with vehicles that kneel, which means the front of the bus lowers down to make your first step easier. If you need this assistance, please ask the driver. MatBus vehicles also feature ramps or lifts to accommodate mobility needs. The driver will secure persons in wheelchairs inside the bus before it departs. The sale of advertising wraps on the exterior of the bus provides necessary revenue to operate the MatBus system. These wraps do not necessarily indicate where the bus may be traveling. For example, a MatBus wrapped with NDSCS may not be traveling to the NDSCS campuses. Electronic destination signs on the front and side of the bus indicate the route number and major destinations on that route. Most buses also have a small electronic destination sign in the lower front windshield and the back of the bus with the route number. Most buses have a front entrance and rear exit door. Please board the bus using the front door and exit out the rear when available. If you're in a wheelchair or if you have a bike to retrieve from the bike rack, you should exit out the front door. The fare box is front and center. The fare box is the device at which you will pay your fare, which we will discuss in much more detail later in this video. The area in front of the yellow line is the driver's compartment. Passengers should not cross this line while the bus is in motion. To help our passengers determine when their intended bus stop is approaching, key destinations along the routes are announced through our public address system. Approaching 14th Street South and 12th Avenue. And on a digital display in the buses. For people with sight impairments or other disabilities, specific intersections can be announced by the driver upon request. Our vehicles are equipped with video and audio surveillance systems. Cameras are located throughout the interior and exterior of the bus. Buses have posters on the inside to showcase MatBus policies, suggestions, and more. The Ground Transportation Center, GTC, located at 502 NP Avenue in Fargo, serves as a hub for bus operations. At the GTC, customer service representatives assist passengers in trip planning, selling fare media, coordinating transfers between bus routes, safely dispatching buses departing the GTC, and assisting drivers in handling the various issues arising on each of the routes. This is also one of the locations where bus riders can transfer between routes. You can reach the GTC at 701-232-7500. Please try to avoid calling at 15 or 45 minutes after the hour. During these times, dispatchers are working to send buses out from the GTC. We hope that you have a great experience using our services. If you ever have any questions or comments, 
please feel free to come in and visit with me or any of the dispatchers. We're always happy to help. Join the movement and ride MAP Bus. The Metro Transit Garage, the MTG, located at 650 23rd Street North in Fargo, is a 55,000 square foot facility housing administrative office space, bus storage, driver locker rooms, bus maintenance, fueling stations, and wash bays. The West Acres Transit Hub, located within the Roger Maris wing of the West Acres Shopping Center in Fargo, provides an indoor waiting area and a direct telephone connection to the GTC for trip planning purposes. This remote hub facilitates transfers between several routes effectively linking transit and retail. The Moorhead Marriott Transfer Facility, located by the Courtyard by Marriott at 11th Street South and 28th Avenue, contains an illuminated shelter and benches. This is the location where Moorhead passengers can transfer from routes serving the southern and eastern areas of Moorhead to routes traveling to downtown and the GTC. MatBus offers over 100 passenger waiting shelters along its routes to shield its passengers from the weather conditions. All shelters display a system map of our routes and are placed at high transit usage locations near commercial areas, college campuses, government facilities, medical centers, and more. To start planning your trip on MatBus, begin by reviewing a current bus schedule. Copies of the schedule are available at the GTC, Fargo City Hall, West Acres, Moorhead Center Mall, over 100 retail locations, and onboard all buses. You can visit our website, matbus.com, to view or download a schedule online or to request that one be mailed to you. If you don't have access to a computer, simply call us at 701-232-7500 to request a copy by mail. When looking at the map, you will notice that each bus route has a unique color and number listed on the map. You will also notice that several common destinations have their logo featured on our map to make it easier for our passengers to locate them. Shelters, transfer points, and designated bus stops are indicated by symbols along each route. On the timetable, a route number and common destination are listed at the top. Column headings display key locations and are listed in the order the bus travels. Above each column is an alphabetic letter within a circle that corresponds with the same location on the map. Below the headings are the times the bus travels by those major locations throughout the day. If you are boarding the route at a bus stop that is not listed on the timetable, look at the time that is listed prior to where you are boarding and use that as the time for your stop. The timetables accompanying the MAT bus routes are designed to be an estimate of the bus's arrival time. To ensure that passengers don't miss their bus, we encourage arriving at boarding locations five minutes earlier than the printed timetables. If you aren't sure how to use MAT bus to get from one location to another, you can use the online trip planner at matbus.com. Fill out a simple online form, letting MatBus staff know the starting point and destination of your trip, the time you would like to arrive, and when you would like to leave. After receiving the trip plan request, one of the MatBus team members will plan your trip and email you the detailed trip instructions. To begin planning your trip, you will need to know the answer to these three questions. Where are you starting from? Where are you going to? What time do you need to arrive at your destination? We are going to show you a trip starting from MSUM campus in Moorhead and going to the West Acres Shopping Center in Fargo with an arrival by 2.15 p.m. Now look at the map and find your starting point and determine which route you are closest to. MSUM campus is near Route 2, which is shown with a blue line. The bus travels along 11th Street South where arrows show the bus is traveling south towards Interstate 94. The bus also travels along 14th Street South where arrows show the bus is traveling north towards downtown and the GTC Transfer Center. You will want to board at the shelter on 14th Street South. Please note that Route 2 has the blue triangles, alphabetic time points and shelter symbols, marking where MAT bus stop signs are located along the route. Looking again at the map, you will see that West Acres is on Route 15, which is shown with an orange line. To arrive at West Acres by 2.15 p.m., you see that Route 15 arrives at 2.04 p.m. To determine what time to leave your starting point, you will work backwards to plan your trip. Starting at West Acres, you see that in order to arrive at West Acres at 2.04 p.m., you must board Route 15 at the GTC at 1.45 p.m. To arrive at the GTC at 1.45 p.m., you need to board Route 2 at the 14th Street Shelter on MSUM campus no later than 1.33 p.m. On this trip, MatBus can get you from Central Moorhead 
to South Fargo in just 30 minutes. Since your starting point and destination are not on the same route, you will need to transfer between bus routes. You can do this at any transfer point. Major transfer hubs include the Ground Transportation Center, West Acres Shopping Center, NDSU STEM Transit Hub, and the Courtyard by Marriott in Moorhead. Major transfer points are identified on the map and timetable by a white circle with a red T in the middle. In summary, you will be boarding Route 2 on MSUM campus at the 14th Street South Shelter at 1.33 p.m., arrive at the GTC, and transfer to Route 15 at 1.45 p.m., and arrive at West Acres at 2.04 p.m. If you are using a wheelchair or scooter when boarding MatBus, our driver will prepare the area inside the bus where your mobility device will be secured. The driver will then lower the ramp. Please await for the driver to step outside the bus to help you board the ramp safely. Passengers using a manual wheelchair should board and deboard the vehicle backwards with our driver's assistance. To avoid tipping, MatBus recommends using a tip bar and the chair's seat belt on any mobility device. Anyone using an electric mobility device may use the ramp going forward. Please reduce your speed to avoid hitting equipment inside the bus and to better control your turn into the bus. The passenger is responsible for maneuvering their mobility device into position. The driver is required to secure the passenger's wheelchair or scooter to the vehicle using securement straps. MatBus has lap and shoulder belts available inside the vehicle if you choose to utilize them. Wheelchairs must meet guidelines identified with the Americans with Disabilities Act, ADA. Bike racks are mounted on the front of each of our buses and can hold two bikes. To learn how to use the bike rack, ask our staff to give you a quick lesson on our training bike rack at the GTC or read the instructions in our bike and bus brochure. Youth under 18 years of age are encouraged to have their parent or guardian's approval to use this program. Whether you're loading or unloading a bike, watch for traffic and make sure the bus driver can see you at all times. As a reminder, directions are printed on the bike rack. Squeeze the handle to lower the rack. Place your bike in the slot and secure it by raising the support arm to the top of your bike's front tire. Please load your bike in the innermost slot, the closest to the bus. If there is already a bike in the rack, load your bike in the outside slot. If the rack is full, you will need to wait for the next bus. When you're at your destination, tell your driver that you'll need to unload your bike and exit out the front door of the bus. When you remove your bike, if it is the only one in the rack and no one is waiting to load a bike, please return the rack to its upright and locked position. Wait until the bus pulls away before getting on your bike. Safe operation of the MatBus vehicles is our driver's main responsibility. The driver may put his or her hand up and stop people from entering until all passengers have exited the vehicle. Passengers using a mobility device will be allowed to enter or exit the vehicle first. Passengers are required to ask for accommodations, such as extending the ramps or kneeling the bus. If you need to wait outdoors to catch your bus, we encourage you to dress appropriately for the weather conditions. For example, it's not a good idea to wear shorts during the winter season. Our buses may stop at corners and shelters along their route, except for routes with designated bus stops, which are marked with a triangle on the map and have a mat bus stop sign at the boarding location. MatBus vehicles can always stop at time point locations identified by alphabetic letters. Help us keep our buses operating on time by having your fare ready when you enter the bus. Limit packages to what you can carry on the bus in one trip. You must hold on to packages you bring on the vehicle. The bus aisles must be kept clear of any items. Our buses cannot pick up passengers in right turn lanes unless the bus will make a right turn at that intersection. The alternate stop will be prior to the right turn lane or after the intersection, which are generally marked with mat bus stop signs or benches. Wave to the driver as the bus approaches so the driver will know you want to board. Before you get on the bus, check the route number indicated on the electronic display to be sure it's the bus you want. Several different bus routes may travel down the same road.
Fare is required from all passengers and must be paid as you board the bus. MatBus offers many types of fare media, including unlimited ride passes in 1, 14, or 30-day increments. We also offer 10 ride tickets, single ride tickets, sold in packets of 20, and honor university ID cards from participating UPass institutions. Using someone else's bus pass or identification is considered failure to pay a fare. All fare tickets and passes may be purchased at the GTC. The ability to use cash to pay for your fare is also available. Please pay with U.S. currency only. The adult cash fare is $1.50. If you do not have exact change, our fare boxes are able to print a change card. If you use a $5 bill in our fare box and the fare is $1.50, you will receive a change card for $3.50. This change card can only be used on MatBus fare boxes for future rides. MatBus is not able to refund the balance of any change card. Any fare media or change card that is lost, damaged, or stolen cannot be replaced by MatBus. MatBus offers discounted fare, 75 cents for those who qualify, to the following types of passengers, senior citizens, age 60 or older, people with disabilities, Medicare card holders, and youth in grades kindergarten through 12. Also, veterans with disabilities who hold a veteran's identification card that states service connected under the picture are eligible to ride for free on MatBus personal care attendants or PCAs who are assisting passengers with a qualified disability also ride free. I don't have a car so MatBus is the only way for me. MatBus is warm, quick and gets me where I want to go. MatBus offers free rides to children who are preschool age or younger riding with an adult. School field trips on the MatBus systems are also free for area youth. The UPass program allows many local college students to ride free on MatBus. UPass is made possible through a group fare paid by area universities. Students at NDSU, MSUM, Concordia, M-State, and NDSCS Fargo can ride free by swiping their respective college IDs through the fare box. Faculty and staff at NDSU and Concordia also ride free with their college IDs. If you need to use more than one route to ultimately reach your destination, you will need to transfer between buses. If paying with cash fare, a single ride ticket, or a 10 ride ticket, you will need to ask the driver for a transfer ticket when you board the first bus. For all other types of fares, you won't need a transfer ticket because your passes allow you unlimited rides. After paying, you will need to select a seat. Grab the rail or one of the handles as you walk back to your seat. Please sit quickly and leave the seats in front for senior citizens and persons with disabilities. Passengers utilizing strollers may use this front area if the seats are open, but must vacate upon request if persons with disabilities or senior citizens need the seats. No items are allowed to block the aisle of the bus at any time. MatBus recommends sitting with both feet planted on the floor for your safe travel, as the bus turns corners and stops frequently. If the vehicle's seats are full, you may need to stand and hold onto the rails or handles of the vehicle. MatBus strives to ensure our passengers experience a safe and comfortable ride. That's why we have rules and regulations. Passengers who fail to follow the rules or the bus driver's instructions may be asked to leave the bus. When riding the bus, remember that no eating, smoking, or open containers are allowed. We also cannot permit threatening behavior, vulgar language, weapons, or illegal substances. Trash receptacles are available in the front of each bus, and we ask that you help us to keep our buses and bus stops clean and litter-free. For a complete list of our policies, ask for one of our how-to ride brochures. Please be courteous of your fellow passengers so they can enjoy their ride too. Speak softly. Don't use abusive language and watch noise levels when you use your cell phone, iPod, or other electronic device. Some vehicles may travel more than one route, alternating trips between two routes that share a common transfer hub. This is called interlining. For example, once the Route 2 bus reaches the Marriott in Moorhead, it will switch routes and travel along Route 5. And when Route 5 reaches the end of its trip at the Marriott, it will again become Route 2. This is done with routes that can get too long or too short to help keep the buses running on time. If you are riding on an interlining route and it reaches a transfer hub, you can choose to remain on the vehicle, which will turn into another route. 
or deboard to transfer onto a different bus or route. It is common for passengers to change buses to remain on the same route after the transfer hub. If you are riding on Route 2 and would like to continue on Route 2 after it reaches the Marriott, because it turns into Route 5, you will need to exit and board another bus. One block before your destination, pull the cord located near the windows. This will let the driver know you want the bus to stop at the next available corner. Passengers in wheelchairs should press the bell line located on the bottom of the seat, flipped up next to them. Please remain seated until the bus comes to a complete stop and then exit the nearest door. If you need to cross the road, please wait until the bus has passed. MatBus offers many programs for our community's residents, including Park and Ride, which offers you a way to avoid traffic and take the bus. Just park for free at one of these locations and catch the bus to your destination. MatBus also provides field trips for the youth of our communities by planning for and taking them to various locations throughout the metro area. Trinity, I had never ridden the city bus before and I got a job at Trinity and they said, you're going to be riding the city bus wherever you go. Um, we don't have our own bus and this is our mode of transportation and I was a little bit nervous. And I must say, it has been the easiest thing. I am very confident that I could get anywhere in the FM area. Um, the bus drivers help you out. You can go to the GTC, they'll answer any questions that you have. Everyone's just been very kind and it's very, very easy to use. Cool Kids Ride Mat Bus! Maybe you've thought about trying Mat Bus, but don't want to be stuck at work if you have an emergency or have to work overtime unexpectedly. That's where our Guaranteed Ride Home program comes in. We will reimburse you for up to two taxi rides per year in an eligible emergency situation. Ask us for more information about this program. MatBus promotes its services to our area businesses and encourages their employees to use MatBus when traveling to and from work. For example, MatBus has partnered with Sanford Health to encourage its employees to ride transit in an effort to make more parking spaces available at its various locations. MatBus looks forward to developing similar partnerships in the future with our area businesses. I just love the MatBus. It's a great place to be. It's a real gift to me to be able to do this. Oh my goodness, not having to find my car in the lot not having to get into a cold car, getting right onto a warm bus is really nice. I just love it. It's a great um, asset to my daily life. I'm so pleased that um, Sanford does this for us, is that we can ride and um, get here and um, it's, it's fun. We also offer Matt Paratransit, a door-through-door -door service for persons with disabilities who are unable to use Matt Bus fixed route services without assistance. To learn more about this program, contact Matt Paratransit at 701-235-4464. Knowledge is power, and at MatBus, we are always working to improve communications while empowering our passengers. We encourage you to stay up to date with MatBus, and we offer a number of convenient ways to our passengers trying to access our information. Visit our website at matbus.com to learn more about our programs, fairs, maps, trip planning services, calendars of events, and any current or future known detours affecting bus routes. A list of storm-related detours, which may be put in place during or after a storm, is available on our website. MatBus also utilizes several communication methods to keep in touch with its passengers, including Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, and an Area Voices blog, keyword MatBus. We offer a MatBus Rider Alert service for our passengers. By simply signing up on our website or at the GTC, MatBus staff will electronically send you up-to-date information on detours, public notices, route modifications, new routes, promotions, and much, much more. There is no charge to receive the Rider Alerts, so sign up to begin receiving the MatBus Rider Alerts emails in your inbox today. We provide our passengers with real-time bus tracking information. Through the usage of global positioning satellites, automatic vehicle location technology, mobile devices, the internet and MatBus display kiosks, passengers are able to see the current location of MatBus vehicles and the approximate time their bus will arrive at that specific location. You can use matbusmobile.com from a desktop computer or even access this information on your cell phone. At MatBus, we're proud of our drivers and train them to handle many circumstances which may arise during the operation of our services. Always follow their instructions, and if you see or experience a problem, tell your driver immediately. MatBus greatly appreciates its passengers and looks forward to receiving their feedback. Please utilize MatBus.com or call us at 701-232-7500 to let us know how we're doing.
I'm Lori Van Beek, Moorhead Transit Manager. I want to thank you for watching our MatBus video. We hope you learned all about us. We're here to serve you. If you have any ideas on how to improve our services, let us know. Now go out there and get on board. Now that you know, you can ride MatBus like a pro, wherever life takes you.